Wait, no, then he has F3, so I still have to be slightly careful how I do this. Go here and just take the pawn and, and easy. Takes and takes, I'm up too many pawns here. I've got three extras on the queen side. I'll just go here and bring the king forward very easy. Designs, let's keep going. I said I was going to get to 30, 3200, right? So let's play Yavrikert. Uh, I'm going to play some, I'm going to go back to e5. Haven't played e5 today. Actually, this is very dry, I just remembered. This F5, wait a second. Am I blundering here or something? Wait a second. What did I just do to this position? Wait a second. Go here. See what he's going to do. Take. So, I mean, I guess I just take. So I can take. I can, I have to take. I can't check the block. So I take. It's a weird position, actually. Very, very weird position. So I go here. Go here. And now I think I can just play like D6 and Bishop F5. Or maybe I play Rook F8. Did I just blunder something? I also can go queen b6. I have to be very careful how I play this, actually. This is not trivial. I just go here. I feel like I blundered some. I mean, I feel like I just walked into some silly prep line. Yeah, I, I walked into something silly for sure. But right here. The question is, is there some way to salvage this? This is a hundred percent prep, hundred percent some kind of weird prep that I walked into. But maybe I'm okay because I'm kind of holding the squares. Maybe, probably not. But yeah, probably not. Well, I just blunder this. Should have just stuck to Sicilian. I think there's some way that I can activate something here. Just like Alham, I start I start off very, very poorly in that one too. I can't move the bishop. If I go d6, he takes, and I just basically am lost, I think. Try it though anyway. Oh. What's this one? I guess this is also good. Nah, it doesn't even matter. Everything's losing here. I mean, it's all just losing. Of course, I allowed this, which I shouldn't have either. Go here. Oh, I just hung from 7 Okay. Very, very poor game. You know, Dunsey, that was very, very poor. Very, very poor. Just like that, I throw the first game. Now, now I'll reset and win like five or six in a row. But again, that will only offset the, uh, offset the loss, unfortunately. Very poor. Um, I see six here actually bad go here the e5 bad maybe is the wrong word but definitely not great okay, let's go here castle go back queen g3 maybe bishop g5 next move knight h5 just queen h4 off oh give knight f4 what am i doing Go here, target the pawn. Suddenly, just like that, I've just started playing really poorly. Really, really poorly. I'm going to have to try to make a draw and just, just end this game quickly. Very, very poor. Terrible first game sets the tone. It goes to h6, which I'm kind of surprised by. It's not like it's a good or a bad move, but it gives me some hope to maybe do something. Let's go C3, maybe. Can I just blunder again? Not quite. Let's go here. I don't actually like G5. Now I have H4, and now there's counterplay. This was maybe not best. Probably not best to go G5.
Okay, I can play H4 next move. Knight G5 maybe is a sack that's lurking. That's what he does. I think for a long time here. Thank you to Deepon Opener for the 17 months. Thank you so much, Deepon Opener. I also have Bishop C2 and maybe mate ideas. With Knight takes G5. He goes Bishop D5, which I think is a terrible move. Ah, uh, he, wa uh, he wants F5. Okay, at least I understand his idea. Still, I don't really like it, though. He wants to go F5, but I, th I think I've really, I've really weakened these pawns. I take... The thing is, I can also take and take, which is also very, very unclear. I take, take, Bishop F6, rookie 4, E5. Doesn't look great, so I'm just going to go Nike 2 and just play this end game. Don't really want to trade, but I think I should trade. The question is, do I go here or not? I think I go here. I need to stop him from playing e5 and getting his pawn mass marching up the center of the board. I'm going to go like rook a5, rook a1, and I should be slightly better. Remains to be seen whether I really am, though. You can go g4, but I just assume rook a6, rook a1, a lot of pressure. Should be better. It goes a6, which I think is not a great move. We'll go here and rook d6, maybe. I also have knight a5. Oh, but he just he has rook d8, which I conveniently forgot was a move as well. And now he's going to get e5, so I feel stupid. So I guess I trade, bring the king closer. He has to go back to a8. Is e5, and if I take... I have knight d6. So this is an important point that I have this check. Do I have knight d6, or am I crazy? I also have rook a7. Rook a7 and then knight d6 looks right, actually. Check. Knight d6 and take the pawn. Yeah, this is correct. King g6, I have h5. King f6, still knight d6, knight e8 is winning. I'm going to throw in a tickle check. Now, I go d6, king e6. That's where I have to come up with something. Okay, so I can actually take and go king here. Knight d6 still feels like the right move. h5 is maybe a move, but doesn't look right. So let's go here. Isn't that just a... Maybe he just missed knight e8? I guess he just missed knight e8. He must have got... He just got confused. Now, now I'm going to win the game, so I take takes i guess he can actually take with h oh wait no i go wait no then he has f3 so i still have to be slightly careful how i do this go here and just take the pawn and, and easy takes and takes i'm up too many pawns here i've got three extras on the queen side i'll just go here bring the king forward very easy designs keep going Yeah, let's go back to Sicilian, something something more realistic. Go here. Play d5, of course. This is what I've been playing a lot with white as well. If e6, I just take. Okay, it goes there. I'll go here, attack the bishop. I think a6 is still supposed to be correct. Right, now I, I believe c4 was the move, or was it queen a5? I think it's c4 was the move that everybody was playing, so I just take. I go knight c5, next move. Here, it's kind of like a French. It's bishop d7. See what he does. Queen g4. I can obviously take a3 if I want. I can also play h5. f5 is not quite right. I can also just go queen c7, maybe. Okay, if I take, takes. Castles takes. I'm just going to go h6 and queen c7 here, probably. Seems fine. Go queen c7, target the pawn. I guess I will castle queen side. Maybe g5 is a move. I'm just going to castle move the king over. Maybe knight e7, knight f5 at some point. In fact, did that. That makes sense. Uh, let's go here. Rook c8. Maybe knight e7. Not a great position. But playable, at least. Back to d4. I guess I will go... Here again. I'm probably going to play g5 and h5 or something if I can. I think I kind of have to. g6 was also maybe a move. Thank you to t1 Luffy for the 5 months. Thank you to Joey Popo for the 2. Thank you so much. Okay, goes knight f3, wants queen d4. 
which could be very problematic. In fact, I think my whole position is pretty problematic, to be quite blunt. I guess I'll go Queen C4. I'm willing to trade off some pieces here. Even though it's a bad end game, I think I have more chances to survive with Queens off the board than Queens on the board. Do I just play chess? Do I do anything else? I mean, I've played variety on stream before. Um, so I'm not opposed to, to other stuff. But primarily, yeah. I mean, mo most of the time, like 95% of the time, I still still play play just chess. Need a Visa Vedra for the three months. Thanks so much to Visa Vedra. Appreciate it. Thank you. I can play Bishop E8, I guess. I mean, he's got Bishop G5. I feel like I should just sack a pawn somewhere here. Um, I go here. Go here. Hopefully this isn't a blunder. I, I feel like it is a blunder, but we'll see. Here. Feels pretty terrible, but knight f7, bishop e8, I'm somehow kind of okay because of the pin. And if he goes knight f3, I have bishop e7 and rook g6 and rook g8. I mean, it's all bad. <clears throat> this is all very bad, but it's worth a shot. It's worth a shot because I'm going to get some kind of attack here at least. Thank you to Hari for the 16 months. Thank you to Hari. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Let's go. And of course, I go here. Yeah, I think I'm going to just. I mean, I have to find some way through. I guess rook g6 is the safest move. Now I have f6 at some point. Or f5, maybe queen e2. Logical move. Let's just go back. I go f6 takes. Um, not great. I'm going to play h5. I still have rook h8. I have to do something over here on the king side. It was h4, which feels a little bit bold. I mean, I feel like there's some real danger here now. I'll also go d4, maybe. Go d4. Bishop c6. Starting to get a little bit scary for white now. Now I have a diagonal as well. A diagonal. I mean, I've got a diagonal. I've got this. Oh, really, 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 really. Okay, let's take. Okay, if I go queen d5, he goes f3, I guess. Or does he go f4? Looks like there should be something, but I don't see it. So I'm just going to take and play queen d5 next move. Go here. Take the pawn. Count. I'll go here and take maybe. Tricky position. I mean, I, I don't know if I can win this. But I'm going to try to win this. I mean, I could have obviously taken F3. Whoa, does this actually work? I wasn't sure. I guess this. Oh, did I just blunder? I did just blunder. Oh, geez. Really, really unfortunate. I also don't know why I did this either. Although maybe now I can trick him. Not up a lot on time. Oh, he's just got the, uh, I have to make a draw for sure here. Yeah, it's just a draw. I, I can't risk it. I, I have no time. I have no time. It's too risky. Too risky. I missed a mate? Wait, there was a mate? Wait, where did I miss? No, there was no checkmate. There's no checkmate. No, no, I mean, it's it's not a good result, but two wins offsets, uh, offsets that, so. I have six. Okay, I think I go here. Here, I have knight c4. There's a bishop f4. It's bishop f4 first. There's no checkmate. There's no checkmate. You, you, you guys are trolling me. There's no checkmate. Why is he drawing me like this? I mean, the first game I just walked into, I just played a bad line and he knew it. Um, but that last game was just too dicey. Do I ever donate money? Yes, I do need to donate money quite uh, quite frequently, actually. Yeah, I do. Uh, did I just blunder again? I think I just blundered again. Not 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 paying attention. Go 
here. Actually, queen e2 is also a mistake, too. Oh, let's go here. Not good. I should have put the queen on d2 and played b4. That would have been just better for me. Oh, he goes for this anyway. Interesting. Even material here, I should be slightly better. I have a better uh, better center. Go b4. I mean, I have e6 too. I don't feel like any of these breaks are really very good for him. So what I need to do is I need to make sure that I prevent those breaks from happening. So I'm going to go rook c1 first. Move the bishop out, then play like... Actually, I don't... Yeah, I do. Do I need to move the bishop? Not really, but I will, just to be safe. I also suspect the bishop maybe was better on another square. Let's go rook d1, target the pawn. I can play a3. I can also go knight g5 here, but I don't love it. b5 doesn't look right, so I'm just going to play a3. c4, c5, b5. Use this pawn majority to, to push up the board. He doesn't really have any breaks still, so I, I should be much better here. He goes e6, which I also don't... Uh, he wants f6, so he has an actual idea here. He wants f6, which makes a lot of sense. I can actually go here, though. And now if he moves, he loses the pawn. So he's going to have to sack and exchange, and this should just be very good for me. Should be very good. Why do I care so much about money? Your Hikaru leaving a dynasty would matter more. Sorry, what? What are you talking about? I, I, I donate quite a bit. What does that have to do with money, exactly? I don't understand. What are you talking about, dude? But yeah, I, I donated I donated um quite a bit of money to this charity called um Mr. Holland's Opus. So I I, I donated quite a bit. Um I can play C4 C Oh, did I just play the wrong move? Was I supposed to take D8 first? Do I wait, no, wait. Takes I can take. And I can take also. Mr. Holmes Opus, no, it's the Mr. Holmes Opus Foundation. Uh, I will take here. Queen H8, I can just take, and this should just be winning. It goes there. I mean, is there an easy way to win? Is the question. I don't actually see a clean, easy way to win this. I can play just Bishop E6 and Rook. I'll just go here and knight knight up seven knight d6 and just trade and i'm just up i'm up too many pawns here this has to be winning go check i go check and take so i realized i made a slight mistake here because i want to go c4 but there's bishop b2 now i go c4 now i just win the game basically let's go here and king uh king e4 should be winning yeah i go here king d5 and Basically, GG, just three pawns marching up the board here. Go here, rookie two, of course. Guard the bishop. I just keep pushing the pawns. Um, I mean, I can also just go like rookie one and rook f1, of course. Go here, take the bishop. He's still trying to somehow fight. I mean, even though it's completely lost. Go here, c6, of course. Let's just go b5. Oh, I could have taken a7 too, I just realized. But anyway, it's all, all good. Let's go here, guard this. Again, too, too many pawns around the queen side, so he resigns. Uh, thank you to John Arrange. Thank you to Awaren. Thank you to Wolfgang. Thank you to Harry as well. Thank you so much. Okay, let's go back to Sicilian. What was he playing? I forget. He, oh, he's doing this weird thing. Um, okay, let's play a Nidorf. He doesn't go in. Okay, so he's going to play a Nidorf now. No, still doesn't do it. Okay, let's go E5. Go here. I'm going to go Bishop G7. Uh, he wants to put the Knight on C4. Okay, very reasonable. Go here to hit the Knight. Knight E3, and then I just castle. Knight E5. Very standard, standard stuff. I'm going to take not the best approach, but I'm going to do it anyway. So here, if f4, I can take. I can also play knight d7. Goes a5. I'm not sure I understand that move. I don't know if he wants knight a4, c4. A little bit perplexed by that choice. Of course, I want him to go f4 because I can open up the diagonal. I need a Dan Barto for the three months. Okay, so he does play f4, which I think I should I should be happy to see that. Maybe I'm not. Go f5, I can just take. Oh, it's a g5. I mean, this looks good for me. 
bishop e3. I mean, I assume I... Oh, but maybe it takes with the pawn. Okay, it takes with the bishop. Knight e5 here. Pawn is always a little bit weak on a5 as well, potentially. I just can't let him get c3, d4. If I let him get c3, d4 and he can remove the knight, then I'm very unhappy. But I think overall I'm happy with my position, objectively. I think Yager Pittsburgh for the 11 months. Thank you so much to Yager from Pittsburgh, number 68 for the 11 months. Thank you so much. Let's go g5. And I have knight g4, knight g6. It's actually starting to look very questionable. It does actually it does have that, which of course I again don't know why I didn't real. That's such an obvious move. I don't know why I forgot that existed. So here I'm gonna go rookie eight. He's gonna get some knight b6, but I'm not too concerned about it. Or I can actually let him get. I'm literally doing exactly what I said I needed not to do. He goes b3. I don't understand that. I'm gonna go here and rook f8. I mean, I was worried he'd get some c3, d4, but I'm definitely going f4 here. I'm just going all in here attacking. I've got the double stack. I've got my pieces on the king side. His knight looks good on b6, but I don't think it actually is. So, uh, queen g4, what's he have? Wait a second, wait a second. Let's be careful. Go here. I mean, all my pieces are really on the right side of the board. You see, everything is everything is stacked here. It's all it's all coming down the board. This looks very scary for white. Shouting would improve viewership. Yes, yes. I should start shouting and yelling. Unfortunately, I'm not uh, I'm not I'm not young anymore, so I can't really do that. When I was like 15, 16, I could shout a lot more. I could get really mad over games of chess. Now I can't get that angry. I can't get that angry. I mean, I could have been like I could have totally been like Tyler one. Totally. 100%. But yeah, I mean, I'm I'm too chill nowadays. Wait, rookie 4 looked I thought rookie 4 was a bad move. I thought I had just queen h5. I mean, f3 is a threat. fg3 is a... Th wow, okay. Wait, first of all, I can take... Wait, wait. I can take, 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 check. Let's think for a second. fg3 threatens mate and uno. Threatens mate and uno? It must be right. I'm threatening this and I'm threatening mate. He can't stop both. Yeah, that's gg. There's nothing you can do. If bishop f3, I just take it. Bishop h3, I just take it. He's going to resign here. What do you think about Ukraine winning the team championship? I mean, very, very impressive. What can I say? Extremely impressive. I mean, what else needs to be said? Okay, let's keep going with the E4. I feel like I'm getting good positions. How long do I stream? I don't know. I stream as long as I want to stream. Sometimes it's seven hours. Sometimes it's 20 hours. Sometimes it's three hours. I mean, however long I want to stream. It's all good. Um, I'm going to play this one. Oh, he's got what? Queen A5? Block. Okay. Plays D5. Go here. Oh, I just got 94. What am I doing? Yeah, this feels very sketchy. Sketchy, sketchy. Let's castle. Let's go rookie one, maybe. I can actually take a pawn here, but I don't think it's a good pawn to take. So I'm going to go rookie one. Move the bishop. I can also just move my knight. I can actually go queen h4, which is kind of interesting. I don't like bishop f1. I don't like bishop b5. I think this is still probably the best move, though, with knight a3, maybe? And now what I need to do is I need to do something on the king side. Maybe queen h4. This looks reasonable just to go bishop g5 or something. Be careful, because bishop e4, I now have knight g5. Plays e6. I, okay, it goes queen b6, which... Seems odd because of bishop h6. Feels like he's like giving me something. I can also just go c3, I guess. Let's go c3. Maybe I have knight b5 too. Now I have knight b5, which also is reasonable. Go here. I want to go bishop e3 next move. Kind of unclear. Very unclear position. Will Magnus take the title again? I would assume he's the favorite until he loses, but you never really know what, what will happen. It's, I mean, very, very hard to judge. Now, I can go Bishop E3, which is kind of interesting. Or I can just take. Do I really want to go? What does Bishop E3 prevent? Is the question. What does Bishop E3 prevent versus Knight E5? 
I don't see what it prevents, but... I guess I'm gonna try it anyway. Let's see what he does. If he takes, I just take. And I think it's a, it's a reasonable idea. I don't know if it does anything. I, I don't know if it stops a queen move or anything, really. But it seems like a move. So he goes for this, which I saw. But I actually assume that in this position, the double pawns were to my benefit here. Because I don't think he can take advantage. And I have a big queenside majority once again. Maybe the pawns are better if they're undoubled, but I figure with the, with pawns here, they kind of prevent black from doing anything. Go here. I guess I just, uh, I kind of have to take, I guess I'll go here, target the rook. A4, A5, I don't know if this is actually all that great, but I, I assume that it's better for white. Probably a doubling the pawns is a little bit too extravagant, but even if he gets a knight to f4, I don't really see the threat. But I always have rook a4 to remove the knight. Maybe it's d4, but I just take. There's knight g6. That doesn't really concern me that much. I think I'm just going to go like... I don't really want to move the bishops. Bishop d4 is a move. f4 is also kind of a move. I don't think it's a good move, but I'm going to play it just so I can put the bishop here and guard and try to do something on the queen side eventually. It goes rook d8. I don't know. Is the threat d4? What exactly is the threat? Because I don't see it. I also move the king up to guard the pawn. Okay. Go here. Looking to move the bishop and attack the pawn now. Oh, it's a king g2, f3 as well. It goes 97. Let's go, let's go here. Okay, but now... Wait, 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 whoa, wait, wait a second. This looks insane. I'm just getting... I'm, get, I'm getting a free roller here up the, up the queen side. This is terrible. He's completely... He completely lost the thread. It was d4 I just take. I mean, he completely lost the thread here. Go here, I guess. Rook b6 also was 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 reasonable. Oh, did I just make a mistake though? I might have made a mistake here. Go a7, d5. I now get the uh, fork, and I think that's ggs. Okay, first just take. Okay, now this must be winning. It's just a question of what the quickest way to win is. It's probably not b4 here. Probably not rook d4 either. What's the Oh wait, I've got no time, I just realized. Wait, I've got I've just actually literally have no time. Let's just take, I guess. Let's go here. Let's go here, and now the game's over. I make a queen, he resigns, good stuff. Keep going. The Sicilians have started to work for me, so I'm, I'm going to kind of get back to that. Every game. Okay, let's go here. Go here, I guess. I will take. Go here, knight c6, e6, all very normal. Keep going. Yeah, you keep keep rolling. Keep rolling. Is That's like my catchphrase. Go here. Like, this is all very standard. I believe you go here, queen c7. Bishop f7 is fine too. I don't know if it's required, but it's reasonable. I think castles is still correct. Takes, I think, is correct. The rook c8, if I'm not. Oh, although he can actually take for the bishop. So we have the I classic Isolani here. This is not super exciting, I have to say. I guess I'll go here. The Isolani, where he has the isolated pawn. He can obviously trade, and probably it's a draw. Knight c5. I kind of. I thought that was a move, but I thought that was a little bit risky. So we'll just take and go here. I want to go e5 here, create a big chain. Blunt the bishop on b2. Go here. I should have also probably just traded first, but so be it. But now I get a chain. I kind of blunt the effectiveness of this bishop here. Although, again, probably this wasn't right either. I'll just play a6, stop b5. Can't really push a4 because the pawn is weak. So let's just go here and rook d8, I guess. 
Knight h4. Uh, he wants... Okay, he wants f4, which could be a problem. Could be a big problem, in fact. I'm starting to wonder why I did this. Really starting to wonder why I did this. It was very questionable by me, but maybe I can still play f5. Hmm. Feels wrong. He goes bishop c4, so he offers the trade. I can obviously trade the bishops here. And trade some queens, maybe. Yeah, let's, let's just trade everything off. I think you had a dollar game for the prime thing so much. Uh, of course, I also just played the wrong order in this line, too. Um, so naturally, I do not have a great position. Wait, the takes, takes. B6, king f7, king f6, or b 7 is no good. I guess I still have rookie eight though. Rookie eight and e4, it's not that bad. Let's see what he does here. Knight f3, I go e4. Rook d6, I go rookie eight. I call the e4 square Edward. Like what, like Edward Snowden or something? Um, I think I'm okay here. I have knight f4. Okay, he goes there. So I go here. Of course, I go e4 next move. Kind of has to go. I almost should pre-move e4. F2, interesting. Knight g5 is a move. E4. I really want to go e4, but I don't know if it makes sense. Um, I'm also thinking too long here as well. I'm going to go here. I don't know if this makes sense. I guess I want e4, knight d3, though, so it makes sense. And I also want g5. But of course, I gave him this, which was idiotic. Over here. This was actually even more idiotic, I just realized. This was really, really idiotic. So maybe I'm still somehow okay here. I don't feel like I am, but maybe I am. He plays h4. I guess I take. But this doesn't look right at all, somehow. Wait a second. I think I'm okay. I just have to find a way to trade rooks. Maybe I just bring my rooks in like this. Rook g2. Yeah, I think actually I should just bring the rook. Oh my gosh. So bad. Oh, that was horrible. That was ab absolute. That, that was horrible. That was, that was just very, very poor. 